if you have missed it, the women's national team that's playing in the World Cup has had very poor performance and is getting called out for it on the world stage by one of their own. We'll react and tell them I will give my thoughts. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Cameron Simpson. Hope you are enjoying today. Please like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Go follow us on all of our social medias. We will have links in the description and in our about section. We also have a new show beginning. It's called World News of Sports. It will premiere daily, most likely. So stay tuned for that. We'll recap all the world headlines. Today, I want to talk about the women's team. The women's national team who's playing right now in Australia for the World Cup, representing the United States at the highest level of play. They've won two in a row. They've won two World Cups in a row. They are a dominant force. They are one of the best, and they were very, very good. Very good. They won two in a row. They're going for three in a row, right? They advanced at a group stage, but controversy surrounding this team is a big deal, and their play has been getting criticized extremely big. One of their own, Carly Light, or what is it, Lloyd, Carly Lloyd, she got called out, she called them out big time. She went on Fox Sports and called them out huge, saying that this is a lackluster play, this team doesn't look motivated, and I have to agree, and I'm going to play you a compilation in a little bit. This team, they lose, they lose to Portugal, and oh, it's, it's just another day, it's just another day. Yay, we're going to the round of 16, but we lost to Portugal after... We didn't, I mean, they didn't lose. They draw to Portugal. But in my mind, that's a loss. Because in order to advance to the next stage, you needed a win or a draw. And you couldn't go out there and put up a goal. I get it. Soccer's hard. It is not an easy sport. No doubt about it. It's a great sport. It's a great product. And the women's team has been an amazing product for the last few years. But they just barely tiptoed out of the first round of the World Cup. Their play looks really bad, and they don't look like they care. And I'm going to pivot for a second. And another reason I don't think they care. This show is strictly about sports. I understand that. I'm going to go to a little controversial thing here. But during the national anthem, they don't have their hands over their hearts. They're just standing there. They're not voicing any, like, real yay America. You look at all the other teams they play, whether it be the Vietnamese, the Netherlands, the Portuguese... All of them are loud and proud singing their national anthem. Don't you think? I don't know. Maybe you guys are the people. You are people that watch. Don't you think that you, as an American, want to see your team seem very joyed and happy about their country? Just as much as we're joyed and happy? Because we're watching because we want to see an American team win. We're not watching the World Cup because we want to see Portugal win. We're not watching because we want to see Netherlands win. We're not watching because we want to see France win. We're watching because we're Americans and we want to see the American team win. And all this talk about how nobody cares about this team is ridiculous. Viewership was through the roof on Wednesday. People care. But don't you think the people that care so much want to see them care about the people that care? Like, I just don't understand. Show a little pride. Show a little, like, yay! I'm on the world stage! representing my country. Let me take a moment to honor that country. No hands over their heart. No vocal, whatever. Anyway, that's my spiel on that. I, we crossed over lines for a second. But, and then the play gets even worse. They don't look like they want to be there. They barely are playing. And then after they draw against Portugal, they come out and all is good. We just draw, we're going in the round of 16, we're going to play a Sweden team, most likely, who could very well beat us, especially if they keep playing like this, the Sweden team can beat them. So it sparked a lot of media concern. Here's some people in the media who had some things to say about this. We're not going to show the Carly Lloyd, that's coming up, but take a look at this. Is the best shot in this moment. They have seen in the past. They are swaggy. They are confident. They yeah. smite. They biblically yeah. smite all comers. This team. 
They've seemed just vulnerable. They've seemed lost. They've lacked direction. Well, we're always critical, right? So the players know the standard. It's just not good enough right now. Uh, These morons on the women's soccer team continue to embarrass us on the national stage. They tied, okay? They got into a 0-0 tie with Portugal. And this is, they've only scored four goals in three games. It's the first time ever that the women's team does not have at least two wins at this stage of the competition. They clearly don't want to be doing it. I mean, they look like they don't even want to be there. It's like- to shift post-2020. I think there's just a lot of off-the-field things that are happening. And, you know, you never, you never want to take anything for granted. You put on that jersey and you want to give it everything you have for the people that came before you, for the people that are going to come after you. And I'm just not seeing that passion. I'm, I'm just seeing a, a very lackluster, uninspiring, taking it for granted. Um, where winning and training and and doing all that you can to be the best possible individual player is not happening. It's also about their play. They are embarrassing the United States with their piss poor, disappointing play, and now they're being called out for it. Very disappointing here in the uh, 2023 World Cup. I don't have it anymore. What else do they have? <laughs> I thought he was. I thought he was talking out of turn, but. An hour into this game, you'd be hard pressed to disagree with him, right? Whatever physical advantages the U.S. used to have either disappeared or didn't matter. And it- well, honestly, I would say frustration is probably the word that I would use to describe it, especially when we saw a lot of the players and their demeanor after in the mix zone. Kelly O'Hara, I mean, she put it plainly, as you just saw, and that's one way you can look at it, at the fact that job was done. They came here to advance to the next round, and that's exactly what happened. It doesn't matter if it's first or second. But once again, for the third game in a row, we're talking about the U.S. Women's National Team surviving in matches. That's So... Wow, some strong words from people who do sports shows, from ESPN to NBC to CBS to some people that do stuff like me. Really strong stuff. And then Carly Lloyd, you saw a little clip of her there, but she had the bombshell. Take a look at this. I have, Rowan thinks. I have never witnessed, and just seeing these images for the first time right now on the desk, I have never witnessed something like that. There's a difference between being respectful of the fans and saying hello to your family, but to be dancing, to be smiling. I mean, the player of the match was that post. You were lucky to not be going home right now. That is a former player. That is someone that used to play for the women's team. She was very good. She used to play for them. And you don't see it very often where a former player calls out the team for their actions. You don't see it very often. It doesn't happen. Former players... They, they normally try to stay away because it's, it's tough. You ask anyone that does color who's a former athlete, they say the hardest part is calling out the people I used to play for. It's the hardest part of the job. But she did it, and I don't think she, anything she said was wrong. Do you guys think anything she said was wrong? I don't. I think she hit the nail on the head. The team doesn't look like they want to be there. There's too much worry about things off the field. After this embarrassing... If you look at them, no one, no one would be celebrating in the stands after you tied, you didn't win, you, you limped your way across the finish line, and you're not there yet. You're going to go play a Sweden team that's pretty darn good, most likely, that's won silver, and is probably one of your biggest opponents in the World Cup. What the heck is wrong with this team? Do they want to be there? Do they want to represent the United States? Doesn't matter, right? But do they actually want to be there and play and win? I mean, that is the main story about this team. Is Do they actually want to play? Do they want to win? What's next? As they head into the next part of this World Cup, they have Sweden coming up, big team, silver medal contenders. After that, we get to the final stages, we have teams that Very good, whether it be England, whether it be France, very good. And this team doesn't look like they want to be there. Barely beat Portugal, barely beat the Netherlands. And again, they didn't beat them, they draw with them. And unimpressively beat the Vietnam. So those are three games that I think the ESPN reporter put it best. These are three games where we're talking about how Team USA has underperformed. Underperformed. Look, they've won two in a row, and 
that is a big, amazing accomplishment. No one is taking that away from them. That is huge. And three in a row, it's hard. But we at least want to see some effort. We at least want to see a push. And I don't feel like we're seeing that on the stage. And These people that I showed don't feel like that. Carly Lloyd doesn't feel like that. It's very rare for someone that used to play for the team to call out the team. So for, me, for hearing that, that tells me that they really felt strongly on this topic. They really do. And I think a lot of people at home think very strongly on this because it's affecting them directly. We want to watch to see wins and to see motivation, to see going for it. If we look on the positive, though, maybe this criticism will bump this team where they need to go. Maybe criticism from all these people will bump them to where they need to go, and then all of a sudden they will be there. And that's a very big possibility. This criticism may give Team USA what they need to go further in this competition. Maybe that will give them the motivation. We hear that a lot. Sometimes bad performances and some bad press pushes athletes harder to do better to prove the haters wrong. And I hope that is what happens. But right now, I don't feel like that's going to happen. Whether it be all the variables that we've seen from this team that we highlighted in this video, it doesn't look like they want to be there. It, the, the people want to watch them. Viewerships, uh, I think it was 11 million people watched the Wednesday night primetime game. A lot of people want to watch them. A lot of Americans want to watch them win. And at least for me, and I know I'm going back there, I want to see them be proud to be there. I want to see them sing our national anthem. That's my favorite part of any sporting event, besides the championships and all that, is the national anthem before the game. That's my favorite part. It's one of the best parts of any event. It gets the crowd going, and especially on the world stage. We have people on that stage that don't like us, and they probably love to see the team not... I mean, I want to see our team respect our country. And, and, and it's, I'm not saying they're not respecting it, but... Like, show some pride. Let's go. I mean, the best world stage moments are the USA chants. Are the, those are the best moments. Are the national anthem after winning the gold medal or winning it. What happens if they win? Are they going to be singing the national anthem proud? What happens at the Olympics, you know? And I also agree, this team has too much things that they worry about off the field that aren't revolving around sports. They have too many things, and they don't push to care about the sports. So that's what I have on this, all right? This team, this whatever, ever, whatever you want to call it. They, they, they are really struggling right now. They are barely past the finish line. They barely advance to the next round. They're going to play, most likely, a very tough Sweden team, and I hope they can get the kick that they need and go get a win because right now it's looking very bad, and they are being criticized horribly. And I don't disagree with it. I think this is an awful, awful thing right now that they have going. If you like this video, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe for all new videos. Again, World News of Sports premieres daily right now and we'll be probably on around 6 tonight. So stay tuned for that. Until the next time, I'm Cameron Simpson. Peace out and go Team USA. Let's go. Let's go.